Takemura here. We must meet. Come to Thomas Diner. Sign up for our platinum plan today. Why would I do that? Because I am the one who saved your life. Haven't managed to get my head straight yet. Not after everything that happened. That will not happen anytime soon. And so what? If you intend to leave, you must re-enter the ring. The bell has already told. Thomas Diner, I am waiting. SCPD! <laughs> shit! We bury you! We know you're in there! We're here to help! Don't got no fucking warrant! You know what the worst thing is about this place? Alright. From the very first stages of food. Hey! B! Haven't seen you in a good one, two, few weeks. <laughs> Figured you'd skip town. Just trouble. Usual stuff. Ah, ah. In need of iron and lead then, I take it? Sure. Let me see what you got. when using data terms. A routine inspection has shown... Hello, I'm Arif Iqbal with WNS News. So... Something feels off here. You don't say. I don't mean the wreck, I mean the run. City's most courteous chauffeur up and drives away from the scene of an accident. We got to get rid of it. 
Really? He's pretty massive. So... Maybe we scooch it, put it up against the wall. V, nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Wouldn't mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night when... when Jackie fell. Let's just say... Things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. An ofrenda? What's that exactly? Friends and family. We gather to celebrate the departed. Our memories of them. And we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure some beer would be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> and there will be beer. Could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. I want to take part in the ceremony, but... I want to do it the right way. In line with tradition. Mm -hmm. But... Something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that would do justice to his memory, I... I don't got anything. But your heart... is in the right place, mi niña. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. Won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mija. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just... Well, human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till you're back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you. A lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe, but... That's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. 
with dreams, ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set? You two didn't get that far. He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things, disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. Come on. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? He said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. It's definitely why they're up there, yeah. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie? Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Oh, Jackie. That a... a mandala? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. And an aquarium? It used to be tacos. And Taco was... Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, mini. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Nice still. Gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentinos, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Leather belt? Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt, told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why did he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. <laughs> Jackie's favorite tequila. It's 
still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How did Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. Taking this, yeah. Perfect for Jackie. Well, you got something for your ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. Where are we going? Actually, we... I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What did she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Right. You gotta come, Misty. Got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So, shall we go? a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. They are well. Hey, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. Thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was, or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying, make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true, Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, ol, honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? 
I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It all started when he put a heater to my head. Then some badges showed up. Beat the shit out of both of us. Half my fault, half his. We hightailed it out together. Half an hour later, we were eating dinner at Mama Wells's. Turned out to have more in common than we thought. Principles. Jackie Wells. The best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind on something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He... He once told me, Chica, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. For his loved ones, he'd sacrifice his life without hesitation. But most importantly, Jackie loved life and had no fear. Heart on his sleeve, he, he didn't overthink things, he just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof. And that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately, he did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. If he's watching, bet just about now he's flipping him all the bird. He always wanted more than he got out of life. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful friend that we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putica Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. She was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. Do you know what? You're a good woman. Jackie would want you to have these. <laughs> you sure? Jackie, kill me. If I got so much as a scratch on it. So don't get any scratches on it. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, be. Hey. You all right? Yeah. I think I'm just still in that garage, mentally. I just need a sec. Gonna Campus miss him. All torn up. There he feels like he lost one of his own. I wonder if he'll be as torn up after you. <laughs> Me die. too, Chica. Chica. Uh, Don't go start uh, instead, eh? Not today. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. Jackie Wells. A proud son of Haywood. I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Pour you another? For Jackito? See, the Valentinos haven't forgotten about Jackie. Days like this, even the meanest motherfuckers pay their respects. Principles. Jackie lived by them. They's what kept him going. Weird, being here without Jackie. Can't shake the feeling I'm gonna turn around and see him sitting at the bar. In his favorite spot, where he always used to sit. Poor. For Jackie. Amen, sister.
Hey, you! Have a drink with us, hmm? To Wells? Think we might know each other. Gustavo Horta. V. Yeah, I've heard about you. Well, heartfelt condolences, friend. From me, Campo, and all the Valentinos. Thank you. How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible Book Club. Yeah, I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. All right, why not? To Wells. May he rest in peace. Good for now, thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Aye, right, give me a break. All right, let's go. Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre. I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. So, Padre, you think Jackie's looking down upon us from up there? I believe he has met God, stood before him. That's it? I don't know if God left the beating happy, but I'm pretty certain Jackie did. Jackie. Did you know him well? I remember the day his mother brought him into this world. The day his father left. The day he took him into his home. Yes, V. I knew him quite well. I'm gonna move on. Go with God. of junk food. Well, well, who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Okako, long time no see. So what brings you here? Willing to bet nobody knows Westbrook like you do. My husband's new Westbrook, yes. Each of them, very high in the tiger claws. Rude Japan town. What did they do? They did what made the best eddies. Gave them the most pull, sold sex and black market tech. Can't help asking. How many of those husbands did you have? Five. All went before the time. Terrible family tragedy. Not afraid that tragedy will strike you? Have to live somehow. For my nine sons. Have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. 
Here is your reward. It comes with a fairly ample bonus. Go see a Ripper Doc. They'll weave you a dermo imprint that will enable smart gun compatibility. A Tiger Claw specialty. How's Biz treating you, Cassius? Lately? Can't complain. MaxTac raided a black clinic not long past. Since then, custom accounts gone up, and so my prices. Coincidence? <laughs> you decide. Let's see what's good. Take your pick. Sit. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous, fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Got no clue. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma, to be sure, but... She showed that slyness you get in corpo agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? Hmm. <sighs> Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose. B, so. wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think? They'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are its heart.
people interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Asaka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. The last thing we want to do is draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes. I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about a plan B. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Hmm, somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why are you looking for Helmet? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there. Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. Dolma is choosy, expensive, and rude. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business.
Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Our saga's still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? Remind me again? Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogel dance to any tune I play, or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. <laughs> <laughs>